Hi, I'm Chef Ryan Hatton, uh, chef at a no tree restaurant here in Napa. Uh, today we're going to be making a little piece of meat here. Got a nice big, about 64 ounce uh, tomahawk. It's a ribeye with the bone in. Uh, we're going to be serving that with uh, confit uh, roasted potatoes. And yeah, so we're going to do it in a cast iron pan here. Luckily this one. Um, by divine intervention was broken and it has a little divot here that fits perfectly with this bone. So for this you're going to need uh, cubed butter, salt and pepper, uh, some whole garlic and thyme, and then some sea salt to finish with. For the potatoes you're going to need blended olive oil. Uh, you can use Yukon Gold's fingerlings, we got marble potatoes. Uh, you're going to use some of that thyme and garlic in here. Uh, season it with salt and pepper and then confit it in an oven on low at 300 degrees for about an hour and a half until they're basically all the way cooked. So now we're going to make a bed of coals. You can go at the bottom and get these guys that are already broken up. Oh man, that's fucking hot. So now we'll take the cast iron and place it right on top of that bed and let that heat up a little bit. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and season our steak. We got some fine sea salt right here and cracked black pepper, kind of coarse. I like that kind of spicy bite that you get from the, um, from the burnt uh, large pieces of uh, pepper. And be pretty generous because this is a big piece of meat and we're just seasoning the outside. None of this gets on the inside, and most of it kind of sticks to the pan anyway, so don't be shy. And what will help it stick to the meat more will be just a little drizzle of olive oil. Just kind of rub that in this first side that's going down. The other side will get kind of cooked on because it's going to be cooked from the from above in the oven. So this you don't really have to worry about. And so another thing, this meat has been sitting out for about an hour and a half. You want the meat to temper. Uh, otherwise, you're going to get it in there cold and the outside will cook and the inside will still be ice cold. So this is the same temperature throughout. You'll get a nice warm pink center. Otherwise, it's kind of impossible to cook a meat and rare steak that way. So now this pan's nice and hot. We're going to go ahead and add some blended oil to this. We use blended oil. It's 25% uh, olive oil, 75% uh, canola oil. So this kind of counteracts the, um, the burning point of the olive oil. That way we're able to saute with it. And then we're just going to go ahead and add this big boy to it. You want that nice hard sound that you get from the sear. And then we'll place it right back on top. And I'll give you guys cooking times at the end of this video because honestly, a piece of meat that big, there's so many variables. You just got to watch it and feel by touch. To make it easier on yourself, uh, you can invest in a meat thermometer. I like the digital ones because those are a lot more accurate. And you can use that to periodically check your meat. We're going to be looking for, for us here, we're going to want it around 120, 125 when we pull it. So it'll carry over to about 130, 135 for a nice medium rare. So in the meantime, while the meat's cooking, we'll go ahead and prep our potatoes. Again, these potatoes, they've been confit ahead of time. So what I did was is I took the potatoes, drizzled a little bit of olive oil on top, and then uh, tossed them with uh, salt and pepper so the salt and pepper sticks to it, and then added more uh, blended oil on top just so they're about covered and then throw in some garlic and thyme or whatever herbs you like, whether it be sage or rosemary. And then we put it in the oven, uh, low fan or no fan is fine, for at 300 degrees for about an hour and a half till they're nice and use a uh, skewer to poke through and they, it comes right through. It's okay to overcook these a little bit. The, if it gets a little overcooked, the crispier it'll be. So we'll go ahead and take them out. We'll uh, pat them dry with a little napkin. Get 
depends on how hungry you are, how many potatoes you want to do. I think this is probably good for us here. And then these potatoes, you can leave them in the oil as long as they're covered. Put them in the fridge and they'll last for months. So they're basically at a suspended animation in the oil. No oxygen gets in. And you can use the same with duck hole feet or anything like that. So the oven temperature is around 750 degrees and this meat's cooking. It's been in here for about five minutes and it's cooking pretty fast. And that's the color that you want. So the way it is now, uh, we're gonna leave it off the coals and just let it sit here while we prep everything else. It's still pretty raw, but it's gonna carry over nicely and cook a little slowly and then we're gonna finish it by basing it. And I'll show you that next. So this is a nice trick for anything that's a uh, rounded vegetable or fruit. Uh, this works with tomatoes, grapes, in this case, potatoes. Especially if you have a lot to do in a restaurant situation when you're getting paid by the hour. Chefs love to see cooks do this. Just take them and align them in a couple of uh, plastic deli lids. Then you're gonna put this over top and then you're literally just gonna cut through the equator part of it. And there you have half potatoes. Pretty dope, right? So it's been going for another five minutes, just coasting right here at the edge. And it's just about getting there. So this has been about 10 minutes total so far. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it on this side. And then for the exciting part, and add, I'm from the south and this is one of our favorite ingredients, butter. About three tablespoons worth. And then we're just gonna smash some garlic. And then add that right to the pan. And a couple whole sprigs of thyme. Very carefully, you're gonna just baste the meat. Ooh, that's hot. And pop that back in and then we're going to take the potatoes that we cut and instead of doing two pans for this you'll make the dishwasher very happy we're just going to use one and just going to add those potatoes that are going to pick up some of that meat flavor the brown butter the garlic the thyme and those are just going to roast in there with it and we're probably looking at another five minutes of cook time on this and then we're gonna pull it out to rest for about another 15 minutes. It's important you want the meat to rest so the juices don't leach out of it. So I'm just gonna give this another little flip. Kinda of kiss this side a little bit for another minute or so. Now we're gonna go ahead and take it out. You're gonna leave those potatoes in there to crisp up. We're just going to leave it here to rest for about 10 minutes. So these potatoes have been going for another two minutes in the oil. They're nice and crispy. Basically frying and meaty brown butter. We're just going to throw those on a napkin here. All right, so the meat's been resting for about 10, 12 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and uh, cut it off the bone. Set the bone right here. You get any primal people that's at your party, they can have, have their way with that. So now I'll bring this piece of meat back and then we'll cut it in an angle. 
to show that nice medium rare. Nice and juicy and warm in the middle. You can serve this if you like or just leave it off to the side. And spread it out and do the YouTube sensation salt bay technique on here or just simply sprinkle it on top. And then we'll go back to the plate. And I like just arranging it kind of crisscross, kind of show off your cooking skills. And then take these potatoes that you had cooking with it and just put those right there nestled. Super nice, rustic, crispy potatoes. And then you can finish a little drizzle of olive oil. The classic southern Italian way of making steak. No crazy sauce, just the meat, salt, pepper, olive oil, and then some nice crispy potatoes. Now, let's see how I did seasoning it. That's not a bad piece of meat. 